Ha! Huh. Okay. Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. Might have gone crazy because you guys, just before sunset, right? Hour or so before, hour or so, or so after, she loses her mind wanting to go walk and, you know, go chase rabbits. Anyway, that's not the subject of this video. So this is, uh, Purity White Cloud. The Pure Day White Cloud channel, and this is your host, Purity White Cloud. And our subject today is the uh, sandbags I found. Now, what these are, are they're actually sandbags. And what they're used for is pregnant ore, as we call it out here. And uh, for conveying uh, product, mine products, this and that. What I mean by pregnant ore is... Uh, they leach it into cyanide and then they capture it into uh, activated charcoal and then, I'm not sure, I would have to look it up. And then they take the charcoal and they, you know, and the gold, it's called pregnant. Or, I'd have to look it up. I might leave a link down below in the description to make sure what I'm talking about. Anyway, they fill these up and they put them on uh, tractor trailers and take them to the processors, extract what they have in the ore, which is usually gold, and refine it into bars, bricks, and uh, jewelry, all that kind of thing. Anyway, the mine that I got these from, the actual product that they mine, goes into these and gets shipped out, I believe, or it's something that they get and help them to mine. Otherwise, they wouldn't have a big old buttload of them. But I got these, right? And the reason I really got them was because, I mean, I'm looking at all this cloth. There we get one here. Right. I mean, it's just material beyond compare. If you look at them. Now let's have a measure. These are three arms. Oh my God, three arms. They measure three foot by three and a half feet. Three by three six square, I think. Make sure. Yeah. Three by three by three and a half. And I'm vexing. Now, there's many uses I've already thought of, right, for these. Like I said, <clears throat> I could butcher them down, and I could make a real serious, seriously tough tent. Because this is some really, really tough cloth, or uh, material, it's not a cloth. I think it's like the plastic stuff, only super duper thick. See, you can tell. You know, from the uh, myriad of those goofy uh, tarps that they sell at, you know, various places that do this. This is the thin part. Now, the difference between these bags, the ones I have, now that I'm looking, let me have a look. Oh, let's see. The bottoms are different from the tops. This is thin. The bottom is thick. Then you could load and dump, see? They have spouts on each end. These are called super sacks. They spout. Right? And like I said, they're just as tough as nails. I could cut these down and butcher them out and get... I got, it. let's see, let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve by three and a half sheets. Put them back together. And I would have me that tarp or tent to be reckoned with. Also, I could fill them with sand and have, oh my goodness, an excellent, excellent fortification material or, uh, yeah, we'll stick with material, to stack up or stack along and hide behind and, you know, take on a defensive position, that kind of thing, if I was being assaulted or aggressed because this would I don't mean to tell you I'm thinking even if I sew six or seven of them together they might even stop a bullet 
Not that I'm going to try. And uh, that brought to mind I could get a whole buttload of these if I keep collecting, keep finding them down there, or go down to the mine and ask them, to, hey, don't throw them away, give them to me. I could build a house out of this. You know I mean? Three foot wall? I'd be warm as toast, you know? White. In the summer it would reflect. In the winter you could heat them. And uh, be, you know, top dog. Now, what I might do to these, another thing that came to mind, and people think about it, and, you know, you can write a comment and say what I can do with them. I could probably put the roof on. I don't think the. I'm not sure if they'd be waterproof, if they would hold water. Be an interesting uh, experiment. I know the tops and bottoms won't. So that'd be pretty much out of the question, unless I butchered them and made it to where they did. Like put some uh, some on another to hold water. Three by three by three and a half would hold how many cubic feet of water, right? You got a buttload of them. You could even put a hole in it and have a spigot. But then again, you could hold up eight pounds a gallon. I don't know what would hold it up. You'd have to have a heck of a frame to get at the bottom. So, the one thing I am going to do... So I'm going to take three of them, because I have, I see these periodically, I have hopes of getting more, you know, and like I said, I just might go up there and ask them, just give them to me, I'm going to cut them in half, three of them, that'll give me six halves, and use them for uh, raised bed gardening, and I think they would drink, the bottoms I know would drink. Now, and I have my seed potatoes from uh, Prepper Princess. Uh, thank you, Prepper, Prepper Princess, little bones. I'm going to use these to uh, let me get down here. There we go. I'm going to use these and put them around. I can put them anywhere I want now. I will have to amend my soil because out here it's just this. It's alkaline, real salty. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but I can. I'll have modules of what I can use. I can plant different things. And then when I'm done with them, I can just tip them out, harvest the potatoes. See, because I have these handles. The handles are only on the tops, though. But still, you can arrange, you know, you can figure something out. And uh, then should get what I want and put some dirt back in. I think I'm going to try that first. But... Let me know what you think. If you see something like this, let me give you a, a, an aspect of it. Right. I got about 25, 30 of them. That one's filled. Let's get back here. That's the dog play around. Them. As you can see, they're big. You know, I can stuff three, four people in them. Hey, no. <laughs> Come on, gay. <laughs> anyway, um, they're huge. Highly handy. Extremely tough. And uh, that kind of thing. Okay, let's go back to the. Ah, dog! Set up. Crooked. That's the thing with the super sack. Um, they have a thing here. How to lift, how to this, how to that. The company is uh, Berry Plastics FIBC 5941 Northwest Northwest 173 Drive, Suite 5, Miami, Florida, 33015 USA. Phone number is 1-800-291-0192. Website, www.berrypplasticks.com. <laughs> in case you want to get some. Made in Mexico. Doesn't have a price on them. 
The rating is 2,500 pounds max. So a ton and a quarter can go in these. And they have instructions, do's and don'ts. Okay. There it is, Super Sacks. I have hopes of getting more. And like I said, you know you could run your pipes between them and in and out and just can goosh them together, fill them where you want them, or fill them and then lift them. Ten and a half ain't too bad. Got a good little bit of a fork lift. Actually, dang uh, engine stand might be able to pick it up because that's just a one ton. <laughs> right? And uh, that'd make you a heck of a house. I bet you one of these could take an RPG round. <laughs> just the way I think. Maybe a couple of them, then after that, you know, you'd be squirreling for another place to, to hide. And then that'd be it for them. But I'm glad I made this video because it made me look at them and uh, see the difference. The bottoms are what the sides are, and the tops are not. You could drill holes in them as you fill them for your plumbing and stuff, and just seal around them. Or just put, like, rock. You know, not rock rocks, but, like... Uh, a little bit better than pea gravel, that kind of like type 2. Type 2 would do it. You make yourself one heck of a home. You know, I wonder, oh, that's making my wheels turn. Boy, I tell you what, you could put like a pole in it and a flagpole, you know, base. Your, uh, like I have my... I have my Derek over there, right? My yellow Derek. Let's go have a look. See how my wheels turn? Boy, I get going. I get going. Here's my plywood I inherited. I have my Derek right there. But nah, the base would go in. That wouldn't work. Or I could raise it up to the Derek, make it a dirt base. Cause it has a bolt bottom. See, you bolt the bottom. Right, I could bolt it to the base. That would make one heck of a portable base, you know. Semi-portable base for my radio and uh, power production pole. There they are again. See, look at, they are big. Alright, so, 13 minutes of uh, Super Sacks. Okay, you know what I always say, live by your wits, not by your worries, it's Purity White Cloud, signing off, peace, bye.